In general, uh, custom photorthotics can do a multitude of things. They're certainly not a be-all end-all for treatment of the entire body as some people might claim for them to be, but there is certainly a lot they can do. Redistribute pressure across the foot, uh, change the mechanics of the foot to help with foot pain, ankle pain, knee pain, and in some cases uh, farther up the chain as well. Orthotics can be made with like a wide variety of materials. The most common materials are either thermoplastic composites or ethyl vinyl acetate, better known as EVA. The same materials that are used in the majority of running shoes and orthopedic shoes as the base material for the soles. Certain materials have more structural and kind of bracing properties and others have more shock absorbing and energy rebound type properties. It's a common misconception that EVA is a softer based orthotic but actually EVA comes in like a large range of densities so the denser the material the firmer the orthotics are. Most of the time the device should like really match very closely to the arch and across the shape of the foot and then within the device there will be different sections where additional supports are inlaid and usually that's put in depending on the condition of the foot. We use a combination of 3D scanners to scan the foot or scan the cast and our team of certified pedorthists design and make those digital changes to the cast or the mold using really specialized orthotic design software. One of the major advantages too is it allows us to overlap images. So for example, if we took a look at the non-weight bearing casts and the weight bearing casts, we can actually bring those two images together and make modifications and changes to them so that the non-weight bearing cast is expanded correctly and lengthened correctly and adjusted to match what the needs of the weight bearing foot are. Once that file is designed and ready, it would get sent to a CNC milling machine, which is basically like the opposite of a 3D printer. It helps to eliminate a lot of the variances across different devices, different workers, um, really improves the accuracy, consistency, and reliability of the devices. People are often fooled with the custom versus non-custom product. The mold and the orthotic should match like very closely in contour all the way across the device so that you have a nice like tight and fully contoured fit to the foot. This is the foot and the arch is like this and your orthotic has a gap where you can stick your finger in or stick a pen underneath and you can see there's a lot of spacing underneath the arch, between the arch and the orthotic. Uh, that's already a pretty good sign that uh, there are some problems with the manufacturing of your device and a good place to start to question whether your device is actually custom made.